Hein? Hein? All right, so this is how you properly cut an onion, according to Dojo. Now, here's the deal. First things first, you sharpen your knife. Now, this seems like a strange idea, but you always want a sharp knife in everything you do, in everything you do. Now, here's the thing, though. So, most people go like this, right? Go, like that. See, I'll go, oh, I'm a chef, I'm a chef, I'm a chef. Don't do that. Now, I used to do that all my life. Uh, knives are really that sharp. I thought I was an idiot. Try this. Put this flat on the concrete or the uh, gra uh, granite top, and you use the force to prevent it from moving, and then you do the same motion as you would do if it was up in the air. You're pushing nice tr pressure, even pressure to the whole angle of the knife. And you'd be amazed how much sharper your knife is when you do this. The, uh, the force back from the countertop really does the job. That is gonna be a sharp knife. The way you test the knife sharpness, you go in your nail, go back way, tip, very sharp. Actually, well, if it drags on your nail at all or put peels off nails off, you know it's the perfect shape. Now, to the onion. When you cut a knife, when you start off, you don't want to do both ends, just one side. I'll show you why in a second. Make sure you look for the one that's got the little nubby here, this little nub part. Do not cut that off. Cut the other side off first. All right, so it looks like that. Now, what I do is I cut it right in half. Okay, you still got the nubby parts, right? Now you peel off all the nasty skin. Uh, sometimes you can just use the, uh, so it's a really, really, ripe onion or whatever. I think it probably used to fall off other big onions, but I tend to just uh, cut off the first layer. Again, keeping that nub, that back end nicely in place. Okay, so now all you've got left is two halves of onion, but you've got to make sure they're both little nubs. There's a reason for that. So, this is the reason. You're going to first start by cutting... Oh, okay, get that. Come on, back to normal, back to normal. Is that too bright? Too bright. What's going on here? There you go. Sorry about that. All right. You're gonna cut like this, or I don't know how to, I guess I didn't explain it very well. You want to cut not all the way to the through the end, but almost about maybe 80% into the onion, and just do slight slices straight down, as thin as possible as you can. You don't have to be perfect. I don't know if this is coming through in the video or not. We'll find out. No idea. Probably could use a smaller knife, by the way. All right, so now you have your piece, it's all cut all like this. Now you go opposite angle, 90 degrees, and you start chopping really small pieces. The reason why you keep that back in is it's kind of like holding the onion together while you're working. A lot of times you wanna take your time. If your knife is really sharp, you can cut your fingers right off. And that's no fun. I mean, some people like the taste of iron in their food, in the blood, but it's not needed. All right, that's it. That's literally all you do for a perfectly diced onion. You don't have to do any more cutting. I'm just, I'm just breaking it up so you can see. The reason why is you're using the angle, I mean the, uh, the actual nat nature of the onion itself to break up the onion's pieces. So if you do that right, it'll break into perfectly sized chunks. Now here's the thing, you can take more time and get thinner pieces. It'll make even more diced onions. It's just almost like that's how chunky you want is how far apart you do your cuts. That's it. That's how you do a perfectly diced onion.